So we got Carflo and Kaizen. Now this is really funny. Because there is another uh, Kirby player in this bracket called Vinyl. And last time he uh, he played Carflo, Car uh, Carflo lost to Kirby. Um, and it's a matchup that you would think like it's just generally just in Roy's favor. But you have to play the matchup in a certain way. Because Kirby has buttons that are very good up close. And the thing is, if you scrap with Kirby, you might not win. And then Kirby could also edge guard you sometimes for no reason. Yeah, no. Uh, for all of Kirby's weaknesses, uh, when he's up close, he he has some pretty decent scrapping tools, uh, great low percent combos. Yeah, and Lone oh, and uh, Lone some good. Thanks for the sub. But um, oh, thank you. Yeah. So you like you already see Carful doing a side beat on Kirby shield, and that's not safe. Um, you get backered out of shield really hard. Mm -hmm. Kirby's backer is actually insane. Not finishing that side B. And the thing is, you see Carflow not finishing the side B's because he knows if if the side B, if he can the side B gets shielded, he's gonna get punished hard. But Carflow reading that dash back with the um, pivot cancel forward tilt. Oh, what a combo! Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where uh, Kirby's weaknesses definitely start to come in. He has the not the best disadvantage in the world, <laughs> I'd say. Jab back air. Mm -hmm. Not taking it. Yeah, yeah, Kirby doesn't have the best advantage. And Kirby's also slow, right? Oh, so yeah. I'm seeing Carflow dash in and out, um, just trying to make Kirby approach him. And uh, another thing, Kirby does not have a hitbox on their up B going upwards. Yeah, no, it is easily the worst of the, like, Aether likes uh, mm -hmm. up -ees. Yeah, yeah, and right now, Carflow being patient, letting Kaizen approach him. It's almost taking him coast to coast, but Kaizen um, getting a nice punish in return. Hook 21. Nice. Up he had a shield. Gonna have to... Yeah, gonna force himself to recover low. And Flare Blade gonna take it. And you know what's crazy? I know that Carflow... Not Carflow, excuse me. I know that Kaizen recovered very low because... He's probably thinking he he got punished pretty much twice doing the up B high, just mm -hmm. to get punished low with the up B anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a good timing by Carflow. Looks like Town and City is gonna be our counter pick. Yeah, Town and City. Um, that's it. You know, okay. So it's funny, right? I always uh, whenever I see somebody take a a, a Royal Crown to Town and City, I automatically blame the other person. <laughs> And uh, the, the thing is, it's like, I know this is a very good Kirby stage, but this can turn out very bad. <laughs> so, oh, that's a stop. Oh, that's bye. The, you know what? I need to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> that's what needs to happen. <laughs> because uh, one jump reading, that was a stop. Yep. Alright, Kaizen getting some started. Yeah, and the re and the reason why Kirby's like this stage is because uh, the platforms you could you can kind of do up B and kill people early with the up uh, the up throw on platforms, mm -hmm. and also um, you do have the FD part portions of it, which is okay for Kirby, right? Kirby doesn't hate FD. Yeah, no, I think uh, because Kirby's jumps are honestly really bad. Uh, FD in general, or FD like stages are pretty good for Kirby. Uh, making sure they have to deal with his uh, his juggles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Carful actually almost taking that stock in a very Roy like fashion on the stage. But now, but Kaizen's slowing it down a bit, right? He's been getting air to air a lot, and that's the one thing Roy wants to get in this match air to airs, right? Because since Kirby's floaty, a lot of these mid percent combos that you're going to get, like off of a straight forward, is going to net you a pretty decent percent. That's a crazy tech by Kaizen. Ooh. Yes, yes, hanging on that ledge too long. Yeah. And um, I was just about to actually uh, comment on Kaizen air dodging to the ledge because that was a pretty good option considering he was up being getting punished, but then immediately held on for too long. Mm -hmm. Smash is really strong. It's a, one of Kirby's better buttons. Yeah, I feel like the theme of like a lot of these uh, matches on stream is that like a lot of these characters for Smash are disgustingly strong. Yeah. And and Kirby is like one of the biggest offenses, funny enough. 
Ooh, that could have been a big, uh, big punish. Good uh, throw combo, but not yet. Yeah, and like when, whenever that happens in this matchup, as like a, as a Roy player or a Grom player, kind of hold your breath a bit, because at any moment you could get whoopsied to death. Yeah, finally yeah. Kaizen get, getting something started. Only 14%, and this should be it, yeah. That is so unfortunate, mostly because most of the times I see Kirby's down tilt, it almost always trips. And that's the one time where he needed it to trip. Yep. He'd hit him with two, nothing. <laughs> yeah, like one... Two, like, oh my god, almost every uh, time. Oh my god. See, and he wanted the, the trip. Yeah, that's, he did that because like, usually he's just like, yeah, it's going to trip here. Mm -hmm. And no, it didn't trip. And he was, immediate, he was already mashing side B, which is, you know, I always say, if you think something's going to be tree, might as well just mash. <laughs> <laughs>